Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you guys for coming back on. We are now going to be talking about something else, not MMA fighting. So we just got done talking about the top 10 best women's MMA fighters. We're now switching over to gymnastics, where we're gonna be talking about the 2024 Core Hydration Classics. I am so excited to talk about this. The classics were held May 17th to the 18th, and the competition was so fierce, it was so, amazing to watch. You can still watch the videos um, on the Paris 2024 Olympics TikTok page. And also there's a lot of, of um, the top 10 um, competitors, their events recorded and were posted on YouTube. So if y'all missed it, I recommend checking those videos out. They're stunning performances. So amazing. You will not be disappointed. So we're going to start a start and talk about the classics. Simone Biles dominated the competition without a shock and she made headlines and her videos of her events have been going viral all over TikTok. So Biles, of course, won first in the all around with a total score of 59.5. She was absolutely amazing. I did say that she was training to do some very competitive, more dangerous moves, um, but she didn't really do anything that was not something that she's done before which is actually a good thing because sometimes it's like are you going to risk it are you going to take it in gymnastics it can vary um and she can save all that for the olympic trials as well but anyway getting back to the core classic she soared through the air when she performed the yurchenko double pike the most difficult ball in women's gymnastics that now bears miles biles name unlike last year biles did did um good without her coach standing on the mat for safety and but it ended up leading her into a half point deduction so she didn't she didn't do like it was it was good last year but it it wasn't her best let me just say that okay but she ended up getting a half point deduction on that on the mat and on an element that requires so much height Biles remarkably had too much power and took a couple of large steps backwards that year but she stayed on her feet to earn a 15.6 this year, which is the highest mark of the evening. She secured routines on beam at 14.55 points for second place and floor 14.8 for first place. And then on the beam, what stood out to me the most was her perfect wolf turns. I literally cannot explain how perfect they were in words. Wolf turns on beam require so much amazing balance and she was absolutely flawless. And honestly, like you, whenever you see any anybody do wolf turns, like it seems like they can lose their balance really quickly, but she just looked, she made it look so easy. And that's something that Bios definitely does differently than any competitor out there is she makes everything look so easy, which is so impressive because we all know it's not easy. And then she finished the meet on bars, which is her weakest event as we know. But she made it smoothly without any errors and finished with a score of 14.55. Last year, Biles proved she was still the best gymnast in the world despite what happened in Tokyo when her gold medal hopes unraveled because of a disorienting mental block. After she withdrew from multiple finals, her competitive future seemed uncertain, really. Biles eventually eased back into training and then to competition last summer. As she prepares for her third Olympics, Biles didn't simply replicate her routines from her successful 2023 season, though. She had a more difficult skills. She performed the triple twisting double tuck on floor, another school name for Biles, but one she didn't include in her last year routine. She also unveiled a new dismount combination of bars. She did have some points deducted on her floor routine for stepping out of bounds a couple of times, though. But still, I'm excited to see these other... Uh, quote, dangerous moves that she has planned for Olympic trials and the Olympics. Second place did come at a bit of a shock for me. Not, okay, not really a shock. I have to explain that. I, I really, really thought Jordan Charles would have placed second, skipping her reputation and records last year, but she placed third, so she still did extremely well. Charlize Jones placed second, and I mean, this isn't surprising at all. Like, we all know she's an amazing gymnast. She's like so famous for all of her skills um but still i just i don't know why but i just really thought that charles was gonna play second anyway she finished with a score of 57.65 in the all around about two full points behind biles Charlize jones won bronze in the 2023 world all around so really not a shocker to win second this year but 
I mean, just the reason that I was shocked because of Child's improvement this year and also just, I don't know why, I just really thought that she was going to be second. Anyway, Jones competed and hit an upgraded scale to lay out Jaeger for the first time, and Jones was the only athlete in the competition to receive a score above 15 on the uneven bars with a 15.25, which is super impressive. Jones said, It definitely boosted my confidence for sure. This is a brand new bar routine for me, so presenting it and hitting it clean like I was capable of doing in practice, I felt so many emotions going on. We changed my routine around like not even three weeks ago. It's something I've wanted to add for a while and I feel like it fits me well and it's super fun to do. Hitting it tonight just felt great. Jones had the next highest score in ball in the competition with a 14.35. And then on the beam, she finished with a score of 14.05. And on the floor, she finished with a score of 14. And third place, as I said, is Jordan Childs. She is the Tokyo Olympic team silver medalist. She finished with a score of 55.45 in the other round. Her floor team was what really stood out to me. It was very graceful, strong, and speedy all at the same time. She finished with a score of 13.35, which was her lowest score. And that shocked me a bit. I loved her routine. She did have some deductions going out of bounds and she stumbled on some of her landings, but still I felt like she had a beautiful performance regardless. On the vault, she got a score of 14.1. On beam, she had a score of 13.7. And on the bar, she had a score of 14.3. In fourth was Jade Carey, who is so beautiful, so stunning, and really never fails to impress me. Both her vaults were really good. She had a tiny jump on both of her finishes, but it was so small, like so minor. Her vault score was 14.3, which is very close to top three scores. Her floor routine was very, very well done as well, and her toes were pointed perfectly. She honestly looked like a trained dancer up there. She finished with a score of 13.8 on the floor, which is better than Childs' floor event. On, board, on bars, she finished with a score of 12.85, which dragged her score down a lot. If she had done much better on bars, she would have been more close competition to Childs' third place finish. On beam, Carrie finished with a score of 13.45, which is pretty good, but I think she deserved a higher score. Yes, I am not a qualified gymnastics judge, but I felt like her routine was so beautiful, so she should have gotten extra points for that if that was a thing. Her all-around score was 54.4, pretty close to Charles's all-around score. At fifth place is Sky Blakely. She has not gotten much media attention, I feel like, so... This is good to see her at fifth. Her all-around score was 54.35, which is so, so close to Jade Carey's score. Her vault score was 14.05, her bar score was 13.2, her beam score was 13.85, and her floor score was 13.25. Her floor score was the seventh best, and her bar score was the tenth best. She is the younger sister of gymnast Sloane Blakely, so that is one of the main ways of how she made her name known, pretty much. She's only 19 years old, which is insane, so she hasn't really done much of college gymnastics yet. So just going straight out to the classics is really impressive. She also trained at Woga Gymnastics, which is the same place where Gabby Douglas trains at, and we will be getting into Gabby Douglas later, I promise. At six was Tiana Sumana Sekera. I'm going to be honest. I haven't really heard much about her. The only thing I know her from is that she is the 2023 Pan Olympic all pan all american all around and balance beam champion anyway for the beam she finished with a score of 13.0 which isn't that great considering she is known for the beam last year still it is a very great store i want to say that but i would have thought she would be placing higher in the beam it was a beautiful routine though just saying on the bars she got a score of 13.15 her vault had a score of 13.85 and her floor had a score of 13.9 she did very well overall and had an all-around score for 53.9. At seventh was Leanne Wong. She was a member of the gold medal winning teams at the 2022 World Championships, 2023 World Championships, and the 2019 Pan American Games. She had an overall score of 53.45 in the Classics. Her beam score was 12.4. Her floor score was 13.25. Her bar score was 13.85. And her vault score was 13.95. From 5th to 10th place, I just want to say all the scores get very, very close, as you can see. So it does get a bit confusing. At 8th place, this is where I'm literally like, 
I don't know. Like, when I saw this, I, like, my mouth was, like, dropped to the floor, is Dulce Kaylor. She had an overall score at 53. Her floor score was 12.75. Her beam score was also 12.75. Her bar score was 13.7, and her vault score was 13.8. The reason I was so in awe with her is because she's literally 16 years old. She is still in high school. That is insane. And I'm really hoping she continues competing professionally, and I bet she's gonna be literally dominating in the next couple of years for sure. At ninth place was Kalia Lincoln, who also trains at Wilga Gymnastics. Her overall score was 52.7. Her vault score was 13.65. Her bar score was 13.1. Her beam score was 11.95. And her floor score was 14. And then at 10th, there was a tie. Kaylee DiCello and Jocelyn Robertson both finished with a score of 52.5 in all around. Robertson finished her vault with a score of 13.55, her bars had a score of 13.2, her beam had a score of 13.45, and her floor event had a score of 12.3. DiCello's vault score was 13.65, her bar score was 12.7, her beam score was 13.5, and her floor event had a score of 12.65. So, Robertson beat Chaychella in the bars of Ben only, but because Chaychella's score was so much lower on the bars than Robertson, that's why they basically tied when you add up all the scores. If Chaychella did better on the bars, Chaychella could definitely have placed 10th and Robertson would have been in 11th place. Now, to finish up this segment, let's talk about Sunisa Lee and Gabby Douglas. Lee did not compete in the all-around. She opted out of uneven bars, her best event, and had clean performances on the other three apparatuses headlined by the 14.5 that earned her first place on the beam. Her combined score of 40.65 hit the three event standard to qualify for the all-around at the U.S. Championships from May 30th to June 2nd. Gabby Douglas on the other hand returned to Elite Gymnastics 2024 for the first time since the 2016 Olympic Games. But she had a rocky start to the meet with two falls in her first rotation on the uneven bars. She ended up withdrawing from the competition after the first rotation and did not complete the rest of the events in the all-around. Douglas also had a pair of falls on bars in the American Classic in April. The 28-year-old is already qualified for the U.S. Gymnastics Championships in every event except for exercise, so she can still compete in those individually. However, because Douglas finished an all-around at the American Classic without meeting the qualifying standard, she will not be able to compete in all four events of the National Championship, unfortunately. It is a bit sad that she won't be competing in all events, but at least we will get to see her more. So we're now going to move on to our next segment where we're going to talk about the USA VNL team. Before that, we are going to be taking a very short break, so I will see you guys really soon.